Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast. And we finally have a 24-25 away kit. I say finally, I don't even feel like it's it's a late release. It's just because we're always like really anticipating the new kits. Uh, but we do now have a 24-25 away kit. You've probably already seen it, but just in case you haven't, it's on your screen now. I have already done a short video on this, just giving my thoughts on the shirt and, you know, just giving you guys a closer look at the shirt because obviously I know that everyone will have seen the pictures put out by the club themselves, but sometimes it can be a little bit different on the lights from the photo shoot and I always do find that it looks different in real life and on the players than it actually does on these photo shoots. So if you do want to take a closer look, at that, you can find the short video on our YouTube channel. You can watch it, just giving my thoughts and you guys a closer look on YouTube now if you want to watch it. But just have a look at the club's pictures. Obviously, the club have said in their press release slash in the article on their website that the shirt... Uh, what's the actual reference now? It, it pays tribute to the town's mining history. The, there is nothing in that... I do like the shirt. But there is nothing in that shirt that pays tribute to the town's mining history. I'm sorry. There's no way they've sat down with a designer and said, we want a shirt that pays tribute to the town's mining history. And then they've come up with that. What I would suggest has happened is they've brought a black shirt out and they've gone, how can we make this a bit more personal? What PR can we spin on this to make it more personal? And they've gone, I don't know, mining. And they've gone, yeah, that'll do. And it's quite funny, actually, because it says here, um, the colour palette takes influence from the atmosphere when mining for coal in the darkest of places. Combined with a bright, bold pink, the intricate design is inspired by the industrial structures of the coal field. It's, it's no, not, there's nothing on that shirt that, that suggests coal field or you know the, the the pits of the mines there's nothing what what i reckon's happened has gone how can we how can we say it's how can we say it looks like mining and and stuff like that and and you know digging for coal i don't know it's black coal's black the mines were black should we just say that the black is to do with the mines that'll do um having said that the actual photo shoot itself they've got like the mining lights on it and things like that you can tell from the photo shoot they've, they've probably thought about it and that's probably where the pr spin comes from or should i say they probably got the shirt decided to spin it that way and then went with the photo shoot to look like the mines but yeah there's nothing in that shirt for me that, that is anything to do with mining just say it's a black kit. Just say it's a kit. But I've not bought that because they've said it's 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 something to do with Burnley's history. I've bought that kit because it's it's nice and it's a Burnley kit. You could probably stick a Burnley crest on a bin bag and I'd buy it because I'm one of them uh, losers uh, that does that. But yeah, let's not pull wool over our eyes, or should I say, let's not pull the coal over our eyes. It's it's just a black shirt, lads. Um, but I actually do quite like the shirt. It is available without a sponsor as well. If you're one of them people that do want to buy it without the sponsor, I actually do prefer it without the sponsor. I think it looks nicer because the 96.com in the middle, it just looks out of place. The fact that the nine is still in that goldy yellow color just ruins it. If it was all white, it would look better. If it was, even if it was the same pink as the castor and the crest, it would look better. I personally think it should be a solid black with like a pink outline that would really look nice on that shirt it will really complement that shirt but for me the, the, the 96.com just looks out of place but even though I do prefer it without the sponsor I've actually bought it with the sponsor because even though I prefer it without it just still looks like a training kit and I, I can never get away from that and I'm not going to pay 60 quid for a training shirt. So I'm always just going to get it with the sponsor for me, even if I don't particularly like the sponsor, like in this case, I don't. But yeah, the new away shirt is out. You can buy it now at the club shop and online, just like I did this morning. Elsewhere, just a couple of nuggets of information that I've seen around Twitter and stuff like that. Alan Nixon, I know, sorry, pinch of salt as always, but somebody tweeted him, asking about any more Burnley players leaving. He then responded to that, saying there has to be 
Money came back from loans. Squad is massive. Sorry, many came back from loans. Obviously, uh, that, that's what it says. Uh, squad is massive. Again, not anything that none of us don't already know. Um, and then again, uh, the lad, uh, Brad Hodgson, is called, responded to Nixon saying, I mean, key players like Burge, Odebert, Amdune. And then Nixon responded to that saying, Burge, maybe they won't want to lose the other two unless they have to. It's it's interesting. I have it on good authority that Burnley are trying to actively set, not sell, but well, yeah, sell. But that kind of the, the these big players on the big wages are probably going to be leaving. Like I have said it many a times, I will be incredibly surprised if Sander Burge is a Burnley player come the first of September. Same for Order Bear. I'm doing it. I don't know where I'm doing it. I think he is good enough in terms of technical ability to leave, and I doubt he'll probably want to play in the in the championship. But I, I think with I'm doing it, it's just in case if he has any suitors. But the likes of Sander and Orderbear, we know that they will definitely have suitors, and people will definitely be interested in, in them. So if slash when a bid comes in for the likes of Sander. For the likes of Wilson Orderbear, then I think they leave. However, I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I think we will still have a decent midfield without Sander. I think Masengo, it's going to be his year to finally, you know, get on the pitch and, and show us what he can do. I've got high hopes for him. And obviously Josh Brownell as well. I know some people give him stick. I've always said I think he's a very good player. Probably just maybe a little bit out of his depth in the Premier League. However, he's constantly played out of position as well. So it's one of them with Josh. But I like Josh and he's always been very, very good for us in the Championship. I say always, it's obviously just that one season. But still, he was very, very good for us in the Championship that year. So, yeah, and we may even bring somebody in if Sander does leave. But even with Orderbear as well, we'll still have Coley Oshaw, fingers crossed. We'll still have Benson, we'll still have Zorora. So I think we you know, have more than enough wingers to be able to... to be okay is what I'm trying to say uh, without Ola Bear. But I think Ola Bear has a lot of suitors, I would imagine, and I would imagine the same with Sander as well. I still don't think he goes to Turkey, but time will tell. But yeah, Alan Nixon reckons a lot of players will be leaving. Uh, well, it, it, uh, the squad's massive, so a lot of players have to leave, but it's something we didn't already know. It, it does go on to say, though, that we will try and keep hold of the other two, like I'm, uh, Ola Bear and I'm doing it. But I'll be very surprised if Ola Bear is still... In a Burnley shirt, again, come the 1st of September. Elsewhere, Football League World are reporting that Burnley are interested in FC Basel's Liam Miller. I believe he was on loan at Preston last season. Football League World, so I wouldn't even say take it with a pinch of salt. Just presume that they've made that up. Um, so if Football League World are saying that Burnley are interested in Liam Miller, then Burnley probably are not interested in Liam Miller. In fact, the last team that are probably going to be interested in him is us if the Football League world are saying it. But according to them, there's quite a few teams battling out for his signature. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the new home shirt. Like I said, I have put a small video on there. It's a YouTube short. That's why I keep calling it a short video. It, they don't tend to get as many views, them, as these. So let me know what you think in the comments below about the new away shirt. I like it, but like I said earlier, I just wish that the, the sponsor would be a different colour. And again... Not really news, is it, that we're expecting to see Sander leave and we're expecting to see a few other squad members leave. I think we're all resigned to that, aren't we? Uh, but yeah, obviously we won't be back tomorrow because it's a Saturday and we won't be back on Sunday because it's a Sunday. It's only every single weekday this. So I'll be back on Monday early in the morning as well to try and keep you up to date with everything that has happened or has not happened over the weekend. 